hello and welcome in cool id help this is the new video tutorial session for you in this tutorial session we are going to create a maven based web project inside intellij idea let's see a basic prerequisite it is better to have the latest version of intellij idea i would suggest please download the latest one and install it this is the link for the download please visit the link in your chrome browser for your convenience, I have given the same link in the description box so you guys can get there. And uh, once you visit the link, you will be landed here. On the right hand side, you will see the community section and here we have the download button. We have two options. One is zip file and one is exe. I would suggest to proceed with the exe. Please download and install it. Now we will see how to proceed. Before getting started, I want to tell you something which is important. We don't need to install the Maven or download the Maven from anywhere because Maven tool is already pre-built with IntelliJ IDEA 2021 or 2020 version as well. So you can proceed without any tension. Now we will follow the step one. In the step one, we will see how to create the Maven project. In the step two, we will see how to build that. So you need to follow the instruction that I am going to tell you right now. So, okay, I will take you inside the IntelliJ IDEA. So, just launch your IntelliJ IDEA as I have done and you will see this first window. Click here on this new project button. Then you will find the options on the left hand side. Please select the Maven. Once you select the Maven, on the right hand side you will find these things. First, you need to select the project SDK. I hope you have already set up this. If you don't, so please watch my video to set up the project SDK or Java SDK in IntelliJ IDEA link given in the description box. Okay, now you can proceed. So just check this box and you will find that these are the arch type which are enabled now. So we have to select the appropriate one. In our case, we are going to create a Maven based web project. So we are looking for that. But we have some many useful as type as well maybe you are interested in one one of these so we have the uh, struts spring and uh, we have the basic struts application setup we have the spring setup also we have the simple website uh, we have a uh, lot many so this is the right one we were looking for this is the maven arch type web app so we have to select and press the click next and once you click, you will see here uh, on this window, you need to provide a project name. So just type the project name, whatever you want. I'm simply giving my Maven project. And you will see just below that there's a field. So the location you can set as per your need. You can leave this thing as it is. And you can come here, you will find these are the artifact coordinates. Let's understand about this. If you don't know, so basically group id is the package name for your new project i hope this is clear group id if someone is telling you group id that means package of a new project and the artifact id this is the name of your project okay when you create a war the war will be created as you have given the artifact id means the war will be created with the same name of your project and the last one is version. This is the version of your project. This is by default set to 1.0. You can see here. You can change it as well. Now I want to set new package name. So I would delete uh, the previous one. Now the new one is org.coolit.help. And now I will set the artifact ID. So I have already given the project name. So not required. And here you can proceed with the version. If you want to change the version, suppose you are going to launch the different version of your project. So you can give, change the name to identify those versions. Now you can proceed. And here in the next window, you will see these information. And uh, this is the local repository path, which is set to .m2, which is inside the user folder. And you can see on the top, we are using the bundled Maven 3 version. Okay. 
in the bottom here in this properties section you will see some of the information that we have given in the previous uh, window so the group id if you want to change the group id at this stage as well so just double click in front of that and you will see this small pop-up window and here you can edit those fields in the same way you can change the artifact id as well so we have the option to change uh, the given information at this place as well and leave the rest of the thing as it is i don't think it required to change so we can proceed click finish and uh, within five seconds you will see your uh, screen uh, you will find that uh, in at the bottom here there's uh, some progress is going on and uh, project setup activities is still running so we have to wait for two three minutes for the proper setup uh, I know my system is little bit slow but in your case maybe this is uh, faster as compared to my system and uh, you can observe here the process is still going on few things printing here on the console as well as on the left hand side there's a progress bar running which is setting up the project architecture and is this is creating the structure of the project so we have to wait for the completion of this process once this is finished we will uh, see how to build it in front of you poem.xml file is open which is already created and uh, the given informations are appearing at line number seven eight and nine so process is still going on uh, we are waiting to finish it and uh, once this is finished we will see the structure the actual structure of the folder you can see at the bottom the message project created uh, with arch type and uh, when you come here at this place project tab you will see the complete structure of your project so we have dot idea folder related idea files and here we have the main src main web app inside above we have the webinf also we have the index.jsp when you look into the webinf you will find your web.xml file okay and uh, here in the bottom you will see that uh, the green tick mark that means your project setup is ready you can proceed and this is the web xml i'm not going into deep but i'm explaining you that the setup or the structure here in this project once the project is ready you can do more coding you can set your index.html for proper display you can create new src file you can uh, create your web application or you can create your first servlet here so i have just changed uh, here at this place now at this step two we will see how to take a build of this project so we will do few more things in uh, the upcoming tutorial on uh, IntelliJ IDEA. So please watch my next tutorial on uh, IntelliJ IDEA in which we will see how to create the WAR file from this Maven based web project. Also we will see how to integrate the Apache Tomcat inside the IntelliJ IDEA. Then we will see how to publish a Maven web project WAR file in the Maven in the Tomcat and we will run our project. So I hope to see you there. If you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And guys for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.